Hey YouTube, Adopted Mike here, and in this video we're going to take a look at this Super Micro motherboard. I got my first server build, um, which is kind of exciting, so this is my first uh, server uh, board unboxing. See here, high efficiency, high performance. Designed in the USA, definitely not built here, but it's designed here. Let's see, we've got... Uh, do not open except in a static free environment. There's the side, there's the top, there's the other side, nothing really going on. Definitely a lot less frills than a normal desktop motherboard. But it uh, feels, the outside of the box definitely looks a lot cheaper. Although the price does not reflect that. really not a lot going on on the outside of the box they really aren't um, I mean they're showing off their cases there and their uh, you know their small uh, server rack mount stuff but you know on the outside of the box there really isn't anything letting you know what this is other than uh, perhaps this is the model number MBD X9 SCL dash F dash O or zero so We'll just kind of get into it and go from there. Okay, so beginning we have a checklist and a checker. So he must he must have made sure. Oh yeah, there we go. There's the model right there. So that is a oh not a zero. Okay, now we have like a like a quick uh, or a quick reference guide here of the layout of the motherboard. So this here will be the first thing that we've actually seen that tells us anything about the board itself. It's a, it's a socket 1155. And then, um, yeah, we've got the by 8 PCI Express slots. So that should, uh, even these two top ones are 3.0 as well. Okay, that's a by 4 and that's a by 4 on an 8. Okay. Well, actually, there slot five is supported on the X9 SCM only. I'm kind of surprised here. Yeah, server motherboards aren't nearly as user friendly as consumer desktop ones that I can tell so far. Oh yeah, here we go for the uh, the RAM. Interesting. Yeah. So. What else do we have? Okay, we've got some SATA cables. Interestingly enough, they come one to a Ziploc bag. Okay, so we've got uh, one red one there, another red one, another red one. So there's six red ones, and they are all straight um, cables or connectors. Then we have the very eh, IO shield, thin metal. We've got the driver disc, piece of foam, and another piece of foam on the bottom. And then we have the board in its anti static wrap. Well, I don't know. I think the uh, the desktop market definitely doesn't seem. This just seems awful bland when you get into the server market. Hmm. This is an oh, there we go. Okay, so we got this for everyone to uh, eat if you want to. And now, yep. So we've got the four dim slots. Socket 1155, which is actually going to house a uh, Xeon E3 processor. 24-pin, 8-pin CPU. The layout's a little different on server boards. I, uh, I knew that going into it, but um, just in case anybody didn't realize, I mean, this would be the rear of the board. And, you know, the processor is going a different way. The RAM's on top. The 24-pin's on top with the 8-pin. Uh, where the 24 pin normally be on the side and the RAM would be, you know, kind of here and the processor would be kind of situated differently. We got a couple of heat sinks here for the uh, chipset. And 
got some uh, fan headers here. There's one four pin, another four pin. Let's see that down there. We've got some uh, USB front panel ones there. We've got a uh, COM port for that's COM two, so there must be a COM one somewhere even. These layouts sure are a little different, aren't they? I might have to. Uh, oh, chassis intrusion. I suppose on a server that really becomes a lot more, um, uh, you know, of an a used option, I guess, that people would actually use. So we have another fan header here. So we have one, two, three lined up in a row there. Um, what else do we have here? Is that maybe like uh not really sure. I might have to go back to the instruction manual for some of this stuff. Some of this stuff is kind of uh kind of new to me. We've got uh SATA three gigabit a second there. Oh I guess I could point this out. We have a USB uh port, uh, port there, an actual port instead of a header up here real quick yeah this is just interesting all the uh, there's another four pin fan header so it seems like all the fan headers are situated on the this side of the board yeah, so this is really very interesting layout here how they do servers we got a rear IO there two gigabit ethernets a VGA a serial port okay so that's me for com 2 down there it was so there's com 1 uh, two more USB 2.0, another uh, gigabit LAN up here, and then two PS2 style inputs there. Interesting. So, what an odd layout. Like I said, this is my first server build, so I've got to, I'm kind of doing the unboxing here before I really learn, like, what the hell I'm doing. But uh, this little... Um, quick reference guide here is going to show me what the hell I'm doing I guess with all the connectors and jumpers and everything yeah we see we got SATA DOM yeah serial link general purpose chassis intrusion we saw before SPI BIOS yeah so I am gonna have fun with this one like I said it's my first server build uh, the client that wants it isn't, didn't really care that I'd never done one before, so I figured, what the hell, I'll give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? I suppose it, <laughs> I suppose it, I could, you know, screw it up, but, yeah, so this is interesting. So, for all you guys out there, um, that are used to doing the desktop ones, uh, the servers are definitely drastically different in design the boards are so uh yeah anyway i don't know what the hell i'm doing uh, but as always thank you for watching